Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be integrating this function. We have the square root of x divided by 1 minus x, and we're going to be integrating this with respect to x. So, when you get a radical expression, obviously there's a lot of different ways to approach this problem, but I would like to present an interesting method here, which is going to solve this problem. Now, if you work inside the radical, things are going to get complicated. So I'd like to separate these first. So I'm going to write it as the square root of x divided by the square root of 1 minus x. So one thing here, the motivation for what I'm doing here is to get rid of the radical in the numerator, not the denominator. Okay. So for that purpose, I will multiply, let me go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by square root of x. Let's see what happens after that. So I'll take this, multiply by square root of x over square root of x, dx. And now I got rid of the radical in the numerator because I now have x. And at the bottom, let's go ahead and multiply those together. Square root of x minus x squared, dx. And we're going to integrate this. Now, this may not make much sense, much sense at this point. But if you look at what's inside the radical, we get a quadratic, right? It looks more complicated than what we started with somewhat, but things are going to simplify. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm going to replace x minus x squared with u. And I already told you many times, right? That substitution is super duper helpful. Okay. So what happens if I call this expression u? And now we're going to be finding du from here. So du is going to be the derivative, which is... 1 minus 2x multiply by dx. Okay, we don't have that, but we do have x, which is nice because we can manipulate this expression and turn this into 1 minus 2x. How do you do that? First of all, multiply and uh, the top and the bottom by 2. So we can go ahead and do that. But this still doesn't give us 1 minus 2x, so I'd like to have 1 minus 2x. And what I can do is I can just subtract 1 minus 1 minus 2x because obviously 2x and 1 minus 2x add up to 1, or should I say uh, two expressions that add up to 2x. Anyways, let me just explain what I mean. I could just couldn't phrase it. So this is what I'm trying to say. You can write 2x as 1 minus the quantity 1 minus 2x. That's what I was trying to say, I guess. Okay. Anyways, the, the two expressions whose difference is 2x, I should say, not the sum. Anyway, so this is multiplied by the radical. So now the 2 is going to stay here, of course. But notice that when I separate this, I'll be getting the 1 minus 2x, something that I want. But of course, I'm getting extra terms as well. So we have to deal with them too. But those are easy to deal with. Okay. So let's go ahead and separate these two things now. And that's going to give us dx over 2 times the quantity x minus x squared. That's my first piece. And then the second piece is going to be obviously what we were trying to get. 1 minus 2x divided by, and of course, we have a 2, right? 2 times x minus square root of x minus x squared. And of course, we have a dx. Now, what is so cool about being able to do this is because now if you call this expression, and we already did, right? So we have this right here. I'm going to use that right here. And for the other one, I'll be using something else. So let me go ahead and work this part out first. So this gives us basically du divided by 2 square root of u. And that should be familiar to you. du, I can't say to you, it's a du over 2 times rad u. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? What does that look like to you? Well, isn't this the square root of u plus c? c can be any constant, obviously. Yes, so this is the square root function. It, so what is inside the integral here is this expression right here is the derivative of square root of u. Okay, great. So and u is equal to x minus x squared, right? Remember that it's without, it is without the radical. Okay, great. So basically the second one then becomes uh, what happens here is that it's going to be square root of x minus x squared plus c. I mean, constant is something that we can take care of at the end, but if you want to write it now, that's fine too. Okay, so this takes care of the second piece. Let's go ahead and focus on the other one. For the first part, for the first piece here, I hope it's not too loud. Uh, we can just go ahead and, you know, turn this expression into something manageable. Now, how do we make this manageable? Well, there's something interesting about this. 
is that we can just separate them here. So why did I not do that for the other one? Because it worked that way. But notice that if I separate these, we're going to get the following. And this is kind of interesting. And it may be a little hard to see first, but if you call this expression uh, square root of x, let's set it equal to u. So set u equals square root of x. This time we're using a different substitution, but substitution is always powerful, right? Let's go ahead and calculate du from here. Du is going to be 1 over 2 root x dx. Now this is kind of interesting because we don't have u, but we have du, and that's perfectly fine. Well, what, what about the other one? What about this term here? Well, we'll take care of that. Don't worry. Since u is equal to square root of x, we can safely say that u squared is equal to x or x is equal to u squared. So uh, from here, we can say that x is equal to u squared. Therefore, square root of 1 minus x can be written as square root of 1 minus u squared. So what is so cool about it is that you'll see in a little bit. Let me go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to replace, let me show you right here. I'm going to replace this with du and the radical part that's left over with square root of 1 minus u squared right here. Okay, so that gives me what? It gives me from here I get integral of du over the square root of 1 minus u squared. And I'm, ho I'm hoping that this is familiar to you. If it's not, make sure you are familiar with this because if you're doing calculus, you definitely need to know this. And that is equal to what? This is equal to the sine inverse function, right? Or arc sine, as some people call it. Okay. So the integral of du over square root of 1 minus u squared is then sine inverse of u plus k. k is a constant. Of course, at the end, we're going to put it all together and maybe call it z. It doesn't really matter. It can be any constant. So now, my first piece is right here. And of course, what is my u here? u is equal to square root of x. Of course, we're talking about a different u here. Maybe it will be nicer if I use the different variable, but who cares, right? I mean, it doesn't matter. These are temporary variables, and you can just use the same one over and over. Okay, just notice that these two u's are not the same. I think this happened one more time in another problem, the one that with over 100 k u's, I think, right? That was the functional equation. Yeah, I uh, replaced t with x, x with t, something like that. And I'm not using the same x there because you can use any variable and replace it with any other variable. That's, I guess, that was the a little confusing. Anyways, so these two u's are not the same. That's what I wanted to say. So now my u from the first piece is square root of x. So in other words, this is going to be the sine inverse of x, square root of x plus k. Now we're going to put these two together, this one and this one, and that is going to be the answer to this integral. So let's go ahead and recap what we talked about. And our integral was the square root of x over 1 minus x dx. And that can be written as, that can be written as sine inverse of square root of x, all right? Minus, notice that there's a minus sign between them, square root of x minus x squared plus, okay, that didn't look very good minus x minus x squared plus a constant. And which constant you, you would like to use? How about we use a c again? And if that c bothers you, it's not the same c as that one, that's okay. You can use the same c as well. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We haven't done calculus in a while, so hopefully this was a good refresher. Please let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.